My name is Dan Albrandt. I'm the head football coach at Westminster High School. This is my first year as the head coach. It's my eighth year with the program. I've been the head boys and girls track and field coach for the last two years. This will be my third year. My name is Ezekiel Loera and I play running back. My name is Jamil Rodriguez. I play quarterback for Westminster High School. My thoughts on Coach Albrandt is he's very intense, very involving. He gets involved. He likes to, to play the game. Coach Albrandt, he's a really good coach. Um, he always tries to hype us up. Albrandt, all oh, breezy. That's the man. Albrandt's cool. I love him as a coach. Oh yeah, coach, um, he always says us something special before the games. Before the games, he always has this, a nice little personal speech he gives out to us before every game, which makes us feel good. Coach Albrandt, he's um, more active towards the players. He always tries to help every single person to introduce them to new positions, try to get them better, try to put them in the best position. Fly, yeah. He's telling us to fly down the field, get the ball. Make it our physical game. And blow them off the ball and run your feet and bury them. Okay, last chance. You knock somebody down, so get it done. Let's go. Let's go. Oh no. Every single play. Flying around and let's go get a W right now. Bring the rush. One, two, three. One, two, three, one. Every game's a little bit different. Um, especially as the end of the year went by. Uh, but towards the end, I started having them close their eyes and reflect on things that they'd done in the past and how uh, it had gotten them to where they were and where they wanted to get to and how they were going to do that and the opportunity that they had and just the belief and the trust that I have in them out on that football field and just to fly around and bring the energy and enjoy every second of it. Um, understand your role and make the most of it. No matter what your role is, have fun. You know, cheer your head off, fly around, everything that you do, do with a smile on and attack. Hold the ball, <laughs> hold the ball, um, and look for holes and stuff. Protect yourself. Make sure that you're not getting killed. <laughs> The, the feeling's pretty unexplainable. You don't, your mind pretty much goes blank at that point. When you're just in the game, everything goes blank. Do your job, energy, the whole nine yards. As I said, the only certain thing you need is time. There's only 12 minutes on that clock. What you do with it is what's going to set you apart today. Every single play, every single rep, 100% hard. Have the heart to finish everything that you do out here. Have some fun, baby. Let's celebrate. Let's enjoy it. Here we go. Let's go. One, two, three. Water up, water up, water up. Football is a really big part of my life, actually. I've played since I was five, like I said, and it's been a way for me to release anger and like just get away from everything. It's a chance to just get away and like enjoy myself. Football is a pretty big part of my life. It means a lot to me because I know I've been playing it for a good while, but I feel like football is in everything and like outside of football and it's the life. And yeah. It's always been a passion. It's something I love to do. I love playing. Played it since um, like sixth grade, fifth grade, somewhere around there. Um, it's always just been for the love of the game. Keep your head up and keep moving. 
there's always the next play, next down, next game. The locker rooms are always the best. It's music playing, people hyping each other up, telling good job. Just so much excitement in the locker room when you win a game. Uh, the best feeling ever. Cause it's just like, yeah, baby, yeah, that's it. And I just gotta go get another one. Before that game, I do get nervous and I do get goosebumps. But when you're just in the game, everything goes blank. In a game, I don't know, I kind of don't really think about it as much, but you can tell that like when I'm doing it, the practice that we do comes in handy and like it actually helps. And when like you're in a big moment and when you're in a big moment, you don't really think about that. It just happens. All I need to do is my job and I'll trust everyone else that they'll do their job. So I'm a very I guess you could say hyper individual that wants to have fun and wants to fly around and wants to make others better around them. Uh, I like to look at, at kids and figure out how can I make them better? How can I make them believe in themselves and go out and put their best foot forward so that at the end of the day they can look at themselves in the mirror and know they gave everything that they had to make themselves better. Well I just make sure I like to warm up, you know, listen to some music, relax, get my mind right, you know, just make my mind go blanket. Think about why the whole reason I'm playing for this sport. Before we do our clap drill, just like calm down, get your mind right, calm myself down, and sometimes get really hyped though. Yeah. You know, locker room, uh, when I'm home too, I'll do basic training, mindset training. I like to get warmed up, stretch my legs, get, make sure I don't get no cramps. You know, just make sure I'm good, nice, and healthy for the game. How I prepare is I try to calm my mind, I try to think of other stuff, and then when it's about to start, I use, I just think of everything that I love about the game and then just go full head on. Going 100% to make them better, to make them understand that nothing is going to be given to you in this life. If you want something, you have to earn it, and you have to earn it the right way. And that means keeping your head up and running your feet every single day and enjoying it. Having a, having a great time with the opportunities that are presented to you. Study film a lot. Film study is one of the biggest keys so that you know exactly what they're gonna do before they do it. And it helps you like kind of anticipate what's going on. So we get film of the other team, their previous games. So I watch with what kind of plays they run and then we practice them at practice and then you kind of just watch their like habits and like their little tendencies and if you can find anything within that then you can use it to your advantage. My seniors, I will miss you beyond belief. Um, you cannot be replaced. There is no replacing. I'll miss your smiles. I'll miss everything about you. Uh, no matter what you do in this life, treat it like football. And that is go 100 miles an hour. No quit, no matter what. Your back's up against the wall, no matter what you do, keep your head down and finish. You start something, you finish it. That's your legacy. Don't take no for an answer. Go get it. No matter what you do, finish. Life is too short. Don't let it pass you by. Enjoy the little things. Enjoy the people around you. And finish to the best of your ability on everything. So I would like to thank my teammates for making the last four years the best yet. All the memories and bonds are unforgettable. Also, I would like to thank the organization and the coaches for believing in me and trusting me to lead the team and always supporting me. Most of all, I would like to thank my brothers, my sisters, my mother, and my father for always supporting me through everything and always being there to push me towards my dreams and making sure I achieve them. And to my mom and dad, thank you for everything. You guys are so unbelievable. I love you. I love everyone and yeah, it was just a fun time. Great experience. Love the seniors. There's no, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all for the season. 
I will see y'all and go Wolves. I love you guys. See you guys next season. Dude, 10-0, baby. Oh, 10-0.